Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is a little bit different. We're kind of blogging. We was at the Dollar Tree getting a coffee mug so that I could show you guys how you can use a dollar and 25 cent coffee mug to make a profit in your small business. If you like this video, please be sure to like it, share, comment, save, turn on the post notification so you can know when I post and I can know that you guys are enjoying my content. If you have questions, I always put it in the comment section and I answer, I respond because I am human. Okay. So my advice is if you're going to get any mug, regardless if it's from Dollar Tree, the Stainless Depot, Amazon, wherever, and you have a whole UVDTF wrap, meaning that you can't cut it like how I'm cutting it in this video and placing it on the cup, be sure to get a straight mug. Because this one right here is kind of tapered. So if you seen earlier, it was kind of messing me up because if I was to place the design as it is, then it wouldn't have been a straight design. So that would be my only tidbit. However, y'all know I like to, if you know me on social media, Y'all know that I like to play around with this stuff. And the only UVDTFs that I really, really, really enjoy and like are the ones that I can cut and place it myself. That way, my design does not look like the next designer, regardless. Even when it comes to those glass cans. Um, I will be sure to put my favorite vendors or vendors that I have used and enjoyed their UVDTFs in the description below, as well as any discount codes that I may have to save you guys some money on this process. So I'm just gonna strategically place it. There's no rhyme or reason. Y'all know I like to mix it up a little bit, shake it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna um place it everywhere that I could possibly place it. No spot to be left unturned, okay? Oh, look at that. It's so cute already. Look at it. And like I said, if you're a small business on, owner or you want to get into like cups and stuff like that, but you don't want to do the dirty, dirty, dirty work like the epoxy and the sanding and the spray paint, this right here is a good way. You can go to Dollar Tree, get you some mugs. Just make sure when you do go to Dollar Tree and you get in these mugs that you're doing an inspection before you start putting your product on there and before you make a sale with it. Because some of those Dollar Tree mugs can be a little defective and you don't want to be selling defective items out here because now you're going to go in the hole trying to refund people money but yeah um like i said this whole mug is probably about eight dollars so i could probably turn around and sell it for like 19.99 20 dollars or if you agree to with it you could do 25 or more the UVDTF print from where i got it from i think was like three dollars and 95 cent so i'll land i'm in probably about five dollars maybe counting shipping let's say let's do maybe a dollar on shipping because multiple prints came with this so i can't just say the whole shipping price um but i would say i'm probably about mm, nine ten dollars into this and i can turn around and make a ten dollar profit and then they just pay the shipping so this is a good way if you don't want to get like your hands dirty with the epoxy and you know the all the other stuff that comes into it this is a good little starter until you feel like you want to expand to that or if you're just okay with this it's kind of like drop shipping because you could get this done in a day and it'd be going out the same day or the next day so all i'm going to do is strategically place you want to make sure that you squeegee it unfortunately in this video i can't find my squeegee i don't know i have like a million of them don't know where they're at but i'm going to do some cleaning so I can show you guys my crafting space. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to play some pool. So enjoy this video and I'll be back.
once I put these final couple of little pieces on, I'm just going to go in with my alcohol, which is in this blue bottle, and spray the paper towel and wipe it off to wipe off any handprints, any excess adhesive that might have gotten stuck to the cup. Alcohol will get it off because without taking off the actual UV DCF wrap, because it's actively open if that makes sense it's open to the air so as long as you're not soaking the cup in alcohol the uv dtf prints will stay on they are scratch proof they are um they're very industrial grade they're food safe you can feel them so if you are one of those people who are like i don't like to feel stuff then you will have to epoxy it but as long as you don't mind feeling it it's not like a crazy feeling it just feels like something's there um it's pretty though as you can see so yeah make sure you like comment share tell me what you think tell me what you want to see if you want to see a full ubdtf um video and i will catch you guys on the next video yeah.